there's any sort of an initiative or any sort of a suggestion that we ought to put some mechanism in place that stops people a wall a fence whatever it is you know more agents more whatever there seems to be this uproar like somehow that's some sort of an inhumane thing to do but if we don't do that then we have this chart that only gets you know what so let's look at New York, right? So right now, Eric Adams is in Latin America. Going out of his mind. He's, he's right now in Latin <laughs> America trying to figure out what to do because, and he said New York is full, right? So, you know, that's a, New York was a pretty open state and city. Well, to, they, have the, they have the added complication of they have a right to shelter. They have a right to shelter, right, right. exactly. So. And, and, I mean, let's, let's, let's be honest, right? I mean, like, except for a small minority of thinking, most people are pretty accommodating and I would assume people are very, helpful or if they see people in need, they want to help people out, right? You know, in disasters yeah, yeah. in those scenarios, right? But the, it does reach a point where if it's if it is suddenly full and there is issues around it, like like how do you manage the resources to do so, right? So there is a legitimate concern here, right? Right. And again, like I mean I live in Houston, I don't really see I mean, not that I'm blind to it, but I've not really seen an impact of, of what's happening at our border in Houston, right? As such. I've not seen it. Well there's a but problem. But that's anecdotal. Why there's I'm not a problem it. at the I mean, yeah. it's, but if it's I was in a border, border town, I'd be I'd be losing my mind because like there's right. suddenly this influx of people coming in, and not, not and whether it's good or bad, or you don't know anything about the people, but it's like there is an unknown f factor as to what what's going on. Who are these people? Where are they here to stay? And how many more are there? How many be? more are right. they? Right. So if you can't stop this porous border, because you can't build a wall. I mean, firstly, the, it's was it two nine one thousand nine hundred fifty six miles across mountains and there's rivers and people's own land and stuff there. Like, how, do you, how do you secure that without using technology? Sure. But there are some places where it's easier to come across where you could erect some sort of barrier to yep. stop people. Except that I, I do believe in Texas, so if it's eminent domain, you shouldn't be taking a rancher's land away. Well, fair. Right. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so that gets into it a little bit there. Delfina, I can see your eyes yeah. are are going there <laughs> don't hold back so much so much first of all uh i think that this is a situation where those who have opinions but present have no excluded present company exclusive <laughs> those that well you said you know people you're, you're going to build a, a wall and people get an uproar and we shouldn't do that and that's inhumane and separating families and blah those with the big opinions hmm. should not have an opinion if they are not some way somehow invested in the challenge and the solution 